Hello and welcome back to GED Live at PALS. We're coming today with a new short video about the GED Social Studies Test's recommended resources. We recently made a video discussing study tips and in that video we recommended supplementing your GED aligned text with other resources from the internet. I started to give it some thought and that's a pretty hard task if you don't know what to look for. So in this video, I'm just going to talk about some of the resources I think are good for studying for the GED. They may not be the ones that you like, and I've provided different options to see if maybe different styles suit you or different levels of intensity. Also, who knows, your ninth grade history teacher, Dr. Bean, may think this was a terrible selection, but this is my recommendation. So let's jump right in. I've divided our sources today into two different categories, YouTube and the internet in general. I think that YouTube is a great place to learn stuff. I learned how to do plumbing on YouTube. There's all sorts of videos, but there are almost too many to choose from. So let's go through some of the best playlists and then some good choices for single videos. So I feel that Crash Course makes some of the best videos on the internet for getting a basic overview in an entertaining and engaging way. I highly recommend going through all of the Crash Course US History and the Crash Course Government Series. There's a lot of videos, there are a lot of videos, but they're entertaining and you'll find yourself going from one to the next in a YouTube binge. Do not start at 10 p.m. or you won't sleep. They also have a geography series. That's gonna be a great way to get those geography skills up. Uh, I don't think that using YouTube alone is enough for geography, but it's a great place to start. And again, they're done in an entertaining, engaging way. Intro to Economics, again, Crash Course has it for you. Crash Course pretty much has an intro and diving deep enough to get started with all of these topics. Another series that I find is this knowledge, how do you pronounce it? Knowledgeia? Knowledgeia series. They have an American History series. And then they have some other series. I like this World War II one quite a bit. The AP series is going to go much more into depth. This stands for advanced placement. This would be what you would be studying if you were doing really well in a US high school. Uh, that may be a little bit intimidating, but why not shoot for the best? And if you only get 80% of the AP knowledge, you're gonna crush it on the GED. Uh, I think that the U.S. history and the modern world history are really valuable. If you find yourself wanting to watch more and you're enjoying the history studies, why not dive into that European history series as well? These are three great playlists that can get you complete, deep knowledge on the subjects. If you want to just learn about some of the top presidents and revisit some of those key figures, this TDC, Top 10 Presidents of the USA, uh, short video is quite interesting and then this fire of learning channel history of the United States documentary is a longer video so you can just avoid having to re-click and search around for different topics and just sit down for nearly an hour and dive into the subject of US history moving on we have the internet so the internet definitely has much more information and it's even harder to find what's good so we want to Stay away from Wikipedia, as I said, although it may, be, it may be accurate, it could very well be just some random guy typing it. I found some good sources that I think you could almost study without a GED aligned text. So, this ushistory.org page is incredible. The fact that someone has compiled this much information for free just to help people learn is really a feat in itself. They have these three textbooks online for free. I don't think you would even go halfway into all the content for the scale of the GED test. However, these could prove invaluable in studying the GED uh, test content. We have history and American government. While ancient civilization is not one of the topics you'll often see in a list of historical topics for the GED aligned text, I have sh shown in another video that the topic does come up sometimes. So if you were interested, ancient civilizations is definitely another topic worth studying. So here is 
the overview of the American government uh, textbook. It has so much information, it may feel overwhelming. You can find a list of the topics online easily for the GED, American Government, and Civics. You could go into the table of contents and find information there. This is just a snapshot. The table of contents is much larger. But you can see from this list that it goes into extreme detail about all of the United States government. This is an incredible resource. If you knew how to use this resource, you could do it with this alone. You could study for the GED and not even need an aligned text, except for the fact that you still need to know the skills they're looking for. Don't forget, the skills for the GED test are actually incredibly important, not just the content and the factual base knowledge. This is their U.S. history textbook. Uh, they've cleverly outlined in the bottom how free their book is. Here are a couple snapshots of table of contents from that textbook. You can see that it goes into the topics in extreme detail. You could just simply look at the list of topics for the GED test and select those, those chapters and read about it. The good thing about the text-based uh, resources is that you can annotate it. Now with a free PDF editor, you can highlight in multiple colors, you can use text boxes, to annotate your thoughts and ideas and link uh, content together, and then you can compile those in a very organized fashion. Here on that same website, ushistory.org, they have a plethora, a giant amount of historical documents. This is a great way for you to practice reading English written in different time periods. Also, on the US history portion of the GED test, you may be asked to read a section of a document and infer or draw conclusions about that document. If you don't have much practice, it can be hard to understand how people spoke in the past. This is a great way to practice without the pressure in your own home. Another website that's very similar to ushistory.org is openstacks.org. Uh, they don't just specialize in U.S. history. They have all sorts of uh, different topics for education and subjects such as math as well. That could help you on your GED adventure. But here I focused on the U.S. history portion. This is a snapshot of one of the chapters for the table of, uh, from the table of contents. Again, they go into these subjects in deep detail. They've also got these great little critical thinking questions and summaries and review questions. These are great ways for you to practice gauging your understanding of the content. Again, you don't have to go into in depth to the point that you're studying the Missouri crisis, but you can use this to just practice studying through the US history topics and then check your understanding with those great little critical thinking questions at the bottom. If you just want to have a relaxing, near entertainment experience, and you've already read your GED aligned text, and you just want to review, the History Channel has all sorts of really interesting stuff. And they deliver the content in a pretty informal, yet informative way. I still read stuff from the History Channel for fun, even though I've studied all these topics. And it's great just to cruise around. Sometimes you can find new topics that interest you, and you can make connections between what you've studied for the GED and your daily life. So looking for economics is a bit more challenging. Economics is a subject of its own that which people study at a university level. I mean if you want to go to college and study economics there's plenty out there for you. You're only going to have a few questions on the GED most likely about the topic and they're going to be at a pretty basic level one or two of them is probably going to be graphic based. Looking at a graph, perhaps a line graph or a bar graph, and drawing a conclusion about the information or finding information. However, there could be some economic theory based on the basic topics they want you to understand. So I just did a quick search of economics, basics, PDF, looked through about five or six of those, and the third one down, this uh, cone Jost. Uh, whatever it is, Unit 1 Basic e Economic Concepts seem to be a great resource for you. It's a long 63-page PDF, but you can just pick through the big ideas. 
Uh, I've captured a screenshot of what it looks like. You could download that, study it in your free time. You could study this in a single day, annotating, taking notes, and probably be done with economics. Uh, you can see here how they've defined macroeconomics versus microeconomics. They give these nice, clear, concise definitions. And I find it very approachable, given that the subject of economics is dry to people like myself. So, moving on, geography. I've said it in videos before, I think that geography is a vital skill as an informed citizen and as a human being trying to interact in your world. So, I, th I think that every American studying for the GED or not, and every human should be able to tell where the basic land features and oceans of the Earth are. If you can't find the Pacific Ocean on the map, it's pretty hard to vote for president. Basically, you can't understand the concepts or the policies that they're going to be discussing with you. So if you can't find all the continents and the oceans on the map, I question whether we'll be able to watch a debate and understand it. So we should be good citizens. That's part of passing the GED so that we can have a country that works well. Study uh, geography to the point where you understand your world around you. You could do that in a number of ways. I think an easy, fun way to do it is just to go onto a game-based website. I looked through a few. I thought this World Geography Games one was pretty interesting. I tested my knowledge at the World Geography in the Americas, and I was not disappointed. Uh, however, when it came to Africa, I was fairly uninformed. So this is a great way to test your knowledge and build upon it. It is pretty much memorization, so you can just gamify it. How well can you do this time? Next time to do improve. Uh, also, I find that this website, PDF Drive, though not entirely user-friendly and it looks like it's somewhere from around 2002. It has a ton of uh, textbooks and other articles, etc. on it. You can find just about anything you want if you are diligent enough in your searching. Uh, searching through geography alone, as you can see. I found that the first one, World Geography Grades 9 to 12, would cover just about everything you need to know for high school and definitely for the GED test. In all this studying, it is possible that you could find you enjoy it. It is possible that you could find that it's a lot of time and you don't want it to be only for the GED test itself. You could study these topics on some online learning platform, a MOOC such as Khan Academy or Coursera, and at the end of it, you could have yourself a little statement of accomplishment. Some of these also have payment options where you could get yourself some form of a credential. So I just was curious what sort of options were out there. So I searched Khan Academy and US History. There is a track for that. Then I searched economics. Maybe we're gonna study economics in the future. Maybe you wanna to go to college and be an economist. Why not? kill two birds with one stone. Anyway, that's just a thought. I thought I'd throw it out there for you guys. So that's the end of this video. As always, I wish you the best of luck in your studies, and I hope that you can have a little more success weeding through all of the information on the internet with these a bit of tips. Take care.